सदा देवी परमेश्वरी गणेश Shri Ganesha Mohan Jai 
Enterprise, intelligent finances in town, and they want to hire me. In town? You want to work in town? Yes, father, and I earn a lot of money. But are you aware of the danger of ambition, money, and all that? Father. Richard, listen. Sit down. Th these stories are for children. Richard, sit down. Go. Listen to me. This is not a story for children. It is true. We have known that for centuries. The six enemies of the soul can destroy anyone who is not aware of them. And you must. Do you understand? You must be aware of their destructive powers. Otherwise you will be lost forever. So, they work together, mm -hmm. ruled by a demon, whose form is a buffalo, he's the beast, they are his power. Luckily, I have my book with me. Oh no, father, not again. And let's look what it says. Listen. In the age long gone by, when people were still wise, the elder used to say, if you recognize your enemy, it is half the battle. But not so for the six enemies of the mankind's soul. They are too powerful. Even though they have been identified and denounced by seals and guides of men since millennia, they still rage and roar in triumph defeating the men and women of this modern chaos with formidable efficiency. Who will escape their clutches? The challenge is on the rise. Listen. Lust rarely releases its captives. It ensnares the attention of the young and not so young. 
sliding the eyes and binding the mind into sex slavery, destroying relationships and family. Broken hearts litter its path. Anger, huge anger, breeds conflict, bursts into a frenzy of aggression, calls for violence, pits men against men and nations against nations. Greed has gone global. It takes away from the many to give even more wealth to the few. It consumes the gift of Mother Earth and transforms life into a civil rat race of for material accumulation. Jealousy draw the, draw the chariot of competition. Our civilization disease. It is the killer of friendship and togetherness. As it pours the green poison of envy where there should be fun and merrymaking. Attachment, the freedom killer, which mixes death with love as it strangles pure emotions with the news of needs, fears and selfishness. Vanity primes the pump of the entrepreneurs to develop ancestry goods for a virtual world of brand marks and appearance. Where the stupid and the dull witted seeks his identity in what he has and not in what he is. These are the enemies, mostly unseen, riding the dark horses of our desire together to doom our race. And they always ask for more, more sex, more violence, more money, more why and me and mine to end up in loneliness and despair. And then they laugh and ride hide on the next victim. They ride the tales of the modern city and keep their watch at its gate. Do you understand? Are you listening to me? Yes, Father, yes, but uh, it's no good. I mean, you, you, you can't discourage me with such a story. Uh, so, if you, if you allow me, I'm going to pack my bag. Can I, can I go? Thank you. So, my dear, what has our son decided? Oh, my dear, he's deluded. He doesn't trust me at all when I told him about the six enemies of the soul. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. It would be terrible if he was attacked by one of them. Not by one of them. But our son is so enthusiastic about working in the town, he may be attacked by six of them. Don't say that, please. Henry, since this morning I've been trying to tell you and the boys about something which can deal with all these problems. My dear, please pay attention to what I'm going to say. It's very important. About two weeks ago, I had a wonderful experience. But how we will get there without money? I have no idea. Yes, how, how we will find an apartment without money? What? Yes, I'm sorry, my dear. I have to speak to him again. Mother, please protect my son. Please protect him from the six enemies of the soul. Perhaps this could be his chance to start searching for you and learn about your love. Goddess, oh Goddess, please protect my son. Make the people thirsty for your love, hungry for your compassion, and make me less shy to speak about you. Let me be your instrument. Rada, titi, titi, titi. Oh, oh, I have this headache again. Mm. It's like storm in my mind. Mm. This is too much. Oh. Oh. Yes, hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, are you Mrs. Uh, Lucy coming about the housekeeper's job? Yes, sir, it's me. Here are my references, which are very good. Oh, really? Very good. Thank you. So, you know the job? Yes. What? Shall I start now? Yes, please. Um, you know that I would like you to do cooking, ironing, 
washing, cleaning, everything, you know that? Yes, well, all right. Okay, let me show you the apartment. This is the living room. Really? I thought it was the entrance hall. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Um, be careful with this chair, it's very fragile. It doesn't look antique or precious. Yeah, it, it's not precious, it's broken. Oh, I see. So you'll find there the bathroom, uh, kitchen, everything, okay? Yeah, and you want me to start now? Of course. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you this. Hmm. Look at the news. It's so funny. The Clinton is under trouble. <laughs> what is this? Oh, look at this new car, so beautiful. Oh, it's rather expensive, huh? Have you been here long, sir? Sorry? Have you been here long, sir? Oh, nearly three weeks since uh, Cephas hired me. Are you a collaborator yet? What do you mean? Judging from your apartment, I can see that you must be a simple employee. You know, sir, collaborator in beef earn a lot of money. They live in houses, they have nice furniture, better than you. So, either you are a simple employee, or you are very miserly. Uh, Jill, I try to read the newspaper. I'm not interested about your worldly things. Really? So why have you come here? I have finished, sir. I am going into the little kitchen. Maybe this lady is... she's right, I don't know. I thought I had a nice apartment. Maybe I need to change the look of it. Even my look too, I don't know. <coughs> hello, Richard! Oh! Hello! Hello! How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you! Uh, I heard mm, some noise coming from your apartment this morning. Yes. Uh, was that you? Yes, yes. I had to hang this beautiful painting of Monet. Ah, Monet. This painting is beautiful. Yeah. But be careful that nothing happens to it. For sure. But you know, it's not anybody who can have a Monet. <laughs> You'll be happy when you're still contemplating this Monet in 40 years. Yeah, you're right, huh? You know, Richard, <coughs> when I bought that building from Beef, uh -huh. I knew I would keep it forever. As with everything I buy or may get, I keep everything. Richard, this is the key of life. Keep everything you get in life. Would you like a drink, sir? Uh, no, thank you. And sir? Okay, thank you. Is everything okay for tonight's reception? Yes, sir. Perfect. This housekeeper is just perfect. Yeah. Keep her with you forever. 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 You know, Richard, uh, I'm organizing something for these poor children in Africa. Oh. Poor things. We must do something for them. I was in Africa in 1964 with my father and I loved it so much. Mm -hmm. So I never forget it. So now, every three months, 
with my organization, we send them things they need. Yeah, you told me already that. But um, <coughs> when does the next truck leave? In two weeks. Ah. Would you like to get something for Africa? Well, uh, what can I give? Look if there is something you don't need. Yeah. I go in my room. I check if I find something for you. Can you wait? Take your time, Richard. Thank you. Take your time. I'll be back. <laughs> what a fool he is. I hope he stays in this apartment forever. But perhaps it won't be long before he moves down below. I mean, hell, of course. Ah. Mm. How do you? How do you find him? He is just perfect. He has taken some of my quality very easily. I love it when they get influenced easily. Is Mr. Frenzy coming? Yes. So, he can't escape. He is trapped. Would you like a drink now? Yeah, I think I'll have a drink now. Ah. Uh, Grand Marnier on the rocks. You know that I always take Grand Marnier. Ah, thank you. I'm sure we'll definitely get him tonight. But be careful, I hear him coming back. A suitcase? Yes, why not? They may need it. No, no. No, Mr. Bond. This is not the suitcase, but I may find something for you inside. Oh, I see. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, plenty of things. Oh, look at this. I'm sure for Africa it will be useful. I don't need them at all. I'm very glad to give this. Uh, oh, look at that. My first cup. Oh, I remember this so well. Don't need to. I can, can give this. What we have there on to look. Oh, my medal. Ah, from ski. I <laughs> was the best. That's true. This is nice, Richard. This is nice. Hey, what is this? This is my gorilla given to me by my mother. Oh, we haven't seen mother for a long time now, eh? Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hmm? Boogie, boogie. Richard? Hmm. Richard? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Bond. I was thinking about my parents and my brother. I don't know what happened. I'm not nostalgic normally. Strange. You know, sometimes Richard is good to be nostalgic. Very good. And you're right. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Bond, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, but this suitcase contains the souvenirs of my life. I can't give them away. Richard. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you. I'm glad you understand. Oh, uh, Lucy! Someone is knocking at the door. Let's see. It's Dorothy Crave, sir. Your secretary. She'd like to see you. Oh, bring her in. Hey, you. Why have you come so early? Leave me alone. Well, she will arrive soon. Hi. Oh, Dorothy, it's you. But uh, the party is at 7 o'clock. I couldn't wait. Oh, yeah, what for? To see you, my dear. Mm -hmm. But why you want to see me? Day after day, I see you at work. But I can't speak to you because of the other colleagues. Yeah. Richard, I must tell you. As 
soon as I saw you, right on the very first day as you entered the beast building. I knew it. I knew it was you. Richard, I immediately understood that you and me, we could be very special friends. Lucy! Come on, Richard. We'll have some wonderful time together. Lucy? Oh, Richard. Between you and me, it will be such a wonderful romance. You see? Yes, sir? It's okay, you can go back in the kitchen. Oh, Richard! Oh, Dorothy! Would you like a drink? Yes, a very strong one. Oh, you're right. Oh no, who's that now? Don't answer. No. Hey, what are you doing in here? There are no dishes here. No. Oh. Hello, Martin. Good afternoon, Richard. But the party's at seven o'clock. Yeah, but as the financial advisor of thief, I thought I'd give you some good advice about money. So I came early to see you. Hello, Martin. Ah, you're here. You're always too zealous. <laughs> Have you seen my new painting? Oh, a Monet, my preferred artist. I bought one painting of his four months ago. And it's already worth three times the price I paid for it. Money for money, I used to say. Ha 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 My dear friend Richard, I sure like your taste. Yeah. Um, not oh, me. but what a waste you bought the carpet. Carpets lie on the floor and get worn out as spoiled. They lose their value. Only marble floors increase in value. I bought only one carpet in my life, and it's an antique, so I keep it safely in my storage room. Ah, la, la. My old friend Richard, when I first heard your name, I sure knew it was important for me to meet you. And I have already made some inquiries about you. With the kind of money that you make at beef, and with some of my intelligent investments, we make dreams come true for both of us, believe me. Mm. <laughs> you, think, uh, you think you can make me rich? This is getting interesting. Richard, you will be rich. Wow, sounds good. You'll have many bank accounts with plenty of zeros at the end, believe me. Let's see. One in Luxembourg, one in Panama, and yes, of course, one in Switzerland for the other business. And if there are no wars, and you don't die, and a few other little conditions, you might be able to unblock these accounts after 50 years, you know. Blocked accounts have a higher return. Yeah, but uh, I wanted to send some of my money to my parents. How stupid! It's parents who should save for their children, and their children save for their own children, and so on. That is the immutable cycle of the universe that makes bankers go richer day by day. Mm -hmm. save, chil save money, I say to all of my friends. Ha 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 and make children. <laughs> ah, who is that now? Oh, so much today, I don't understand. Yes. Ah, hello. Hello. Please come in. I'd like to speak to you about a great message. Oh, really? What's that? <laughs> Look at this day. woman. <laughs> she, she's so simple, I don't know. I don't know how she's... 
doing here? Yes. Yes, I can be able to give a public program about discovering in our self. She must be from a village. Look at her old-fashioned shoes. I'm sure she, she doesn't have even a cup. It's a real experience that you can feel for yourself. Ah, I see. Uh, but I don't have time to speak to you, madam. I have a very important party tonight at 7 o'clock. So, please, would you like... It's your chair, sir. That uh, you have a very good party. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well done, Richard. Yeah? Very careful with these kind of people. Oh, these people, they have no sense of reality at all. <laughs> oh, looks beautiful. Of course. I've put your letter by the phone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, uh, come here. Yes, hello? Yes, it's me, yes. Oh, yeah, I know you, Mr. Frenzy, yes? Yeah, you are the councillor at Beef. Yeah. A party? Oh, yes, at home, yes. Yeah. It's at 7 o'clock. Oh, I didn't know you'd like to come. Oh, you want to come? Oh. <sighs> yes, come, please. You are most welcome, Mr. Frenzy. Okay, it's, it's at 7 o'clock, eh? Okay, thank you. Well, Mr. Frenzy is a very influential person at Beef. It's better to humor him if you want to go in the company. So I wish the, the reception will be perfect tonight. Mr. Frenzy is coming as well? Oh, yes. Actually, he has invited himself. Oh, no. Do you know how he got uh, his post of counsel at Beef? No, not at all. Oh, not the story again. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Whiskey for me. <laughs> hey, these two are making very free with my whiskey. It's my whiskey. Huh. No, uh, listen, no, no, no. Uh, some, someone very important is coming tonight. I, I want you, from now on, I want you to stay in the kitchen to prepare tonight's reception. No, no. I go to open the door. Thank you very much. Go back to the kitchen. Okay, come in, come in. It's okay. Ah, whiskey. I'd like a glass. Hello, Mr. Frenzy. Oh, uh, hello, Richard. The party is at 7 o'clock. Uh, yes, but I see that Martin and Dorothy are here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Richard, may I call you Richard? Mm, yes, why not? Come, sit here. I need to talk to you. Okay. Now, yes. as you know, Beef is a very great company and makes lots of money in all four corners of the world. Our interests should be the interests of our employees. Many of your colleagues hold influential positions in either the administration or the government. This is true, Richard, personally. Mm. I'm also deputy at the Chamber of Commerce. And I have a post in the administration where I work for schools. Schools? Yes, I type some of the study material and uh, some of the exams. Richard. Richard. Yeah? You are a very good man. You are ambitious. I can see you as one of our future great collaborators. But, as you know, to attain such a position in this country, you need to join the army. I know, however, that when you signed up, you registered as a pacifist, trying to avoid the army. But don't worry, I have many contacts, even in the army. I'm dining with Colonel Flaming tonight. Oh, Colonel Flaming. Uh, and, um, Richard, as you know, Colonel Flaming can't refuse me a favor, and soon you'll be incorporated in the army. Um, Mr. Frenzy, I, I, I don't want to go into the army. But Richard, think about the future, uh, and the business that we'll do together. 
Martin, don't you understand? I don't want to go into the army. Well, what I think is I that you... I have been in the army, and it isn't so terrible. Yeah. And look, it has opened doors for me. Yeah. Boring. Then it, it's smelly. It, it's uncomfortable. It's... The cooks are... Oh, the cooks are unskilled. You, you, you have to share your room with, with 50 other men. You have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go into the army. Thank you. Ah, Richard, Richard. Well, of course, you may refuse my offer. And we may change our opinion of you. You may even lose your post. Hey, Mr. Friendly. Are you threatening me? This is blackmail. Richard, you may call it what you like. But you see, these are the way things are. Beef is a powerful company and needs influential, powerful men. We don't need cowards. Hey, I'm not a coward, Frenzy. Careful of what you're saying. Oh, non-violent, you said. I wouldn't say that. You, you seem to be rather lively. Stop your irony, Mr. Frenzy. Who you think you are? You come in my apartment. You eat what is prepared for tonight's reception. You threaten me. You make fun of me. Richard. Richard, with that beautiful demonstration. You just showed that you have the perfect qualities to be an excellent soldier. You're quite right, Richard. Now shut up. It's enough now. Oh, Richard. You really are a strange man. I'm not strange at all. Get out of here. Richard? Get out of here! Uh, you'll be fired for this. And we may lose a powerful collaborator. For you are powerful, judging by what I have just seen. But never will I tolerate being treated in this way. And in fact, I'll have pleasure in signing your dismissal notice. Get out of here! I wanted to see that for a long time, but with, of course, with my position, I could never have done it. I'm very glad that you weren't angry with fellow. I mean, it's not his anger. He's powerful. <laughs> it's burning me! Dorothy, what is happening? What can we do, Dorothy? I don't know. I'd better go home. I'll be all right. Lucy! Lucy! Help we... Dorothy to go back home! Lucy! We must do something. She's getting blue. Oh, yes, my God, it's true. Dorothy, you are blue. Yes, sir. Oh, help Dorothy to go back home. She, she's completely blue. Oh, I... sick. I came by bus. Please, Richard, take me home. Oh, I can't. I have my my party tonight. I'm I have guests arriving. Better to to take some some, some money. No, no, take Please. a taxi. No, um, do you have a change, Martin, for a thousand? Let me see. Come on, I'm suffering. Yeah, come on, she's suffering. <laughs> my purse. What now? My wallet. I must have lost you on the way. It can be my precious Martin. money, my money, my money, my money. Martin, what's that? So, Dorothy, I'm sorry. Lucy, take that and ask the driver for change. Uh, I oh. wish you 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 oh. will better. Soon you will be better. Change. Look. Oh, I have started to notice other people well, just because of this Jill Lucy and this Dorothy Craven. I mean, never before I would like to, to look at a woman like that. Maybe my father wasn't tell me, telling me fairy stories. He was telling me the truth. Look, lust, attachment, Jill Lucy. Hey, that's her name. Oh, no doubt now. No doubt. Ooh. 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 Jealousy? Anger? Greed? Let's make five. 
I just thought about the six enemies of the soul. What is the sixth one? Oh. It's better to go back home. Never mind beef. Never mind never mind money. All this is all this is useless. I think I I, I will go back home. Yeah. That is what I will do. No other way. Okay. So now I will go out and take the good decision, but soon I will go I, I, I'll go back home. This is the best way. <laughs> what an excellent evening. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, your apartment is so nice and beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy I met you this evening. Thank you, Hilary, but you may never see me again. Soon I go back in my village. To your village? Yeah. Why? Why don't you stay here? You are a very talented man. You'll find another excellent job. And we'll have a beautiful house and lots of friends. Hilary, I have tried this dream already, but I was wrong. You were not. Who told you such stupid things? Look how you managed to get a nice life in such a short time. Nice clothes, a good car, all this in only three or four weeks. It shows you are clever. Look at you. You are just a simple man from a simple village. But you have overcome all that and you have made your mark here. Even Sir Lucifer wanted you to be a collaborator. Yeah, you're right. So, why should you leave then? Stay with me. I'll be your counselor and help you to become a very great man. Hilary? Richard? How did you know that Beef wanted me as a collaborator? Well, uh, you, you told me this evening, you told me, didn't you? I didn't tell you that. Well, uh, I guess uh, we, were, we were talking. You told me all about your life. You must have told me that too. I didn't tell you that because I'm not proud of this incident. It's proud. Ah, that's what you are. You are the sixth one. What are you talking about, Richard? Are you mad or what? No, look at you. Well-mannered, well-dressed, all, all your words sound proud, artificial. Yeah, you are the sixth one. You are the sixth enemies of the soul, aren't you? What are you talking about, Richard? If this is a joke, it's not funny. You scare me. Yeah, be scared. Huh. I won't be a fool again. Hmm. You should have seen your friend, Mr. Frenzy. Uh, by two times he fell down just be by my power. I'm a very strong person, <laughs> Hillary. <laughs> Despite you, uh, Terrible destructive force, I can stand up you, easily. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, I'll go. You convinced me of your so-called power! <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! Ah! 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 This headache again! Mm. Mm. I must tell mother about this. Oof, it's too much. Oh, mother. That reminds me. My dream of last night. How was it? Oh, yeah. An angel came and he told me, listen to your mother. Hello! Hello! Yes. I'm back! Richard! 
Oh, oh Mummy. I have missed mm. you so much. Come I'm in, so come in. Do you know, I've even baked your favorite cookies wow. today. Come That's in, so look, kind. here's your father. Richard, father, my son, I'm so glad to see you. Father, I'm very happy to be back, mm. you know. And I must apologize. Mm. You were, you were right. I mean, I saw them. Who? The six enemies of the soul. I mean, mm. they, they came to me. They, they came in my apartment. I, I, I had to, I had to face them. They, they, they were there just before me. And how could I believe you? You, you and your book. I mean, this is too much. You, you don't understand. I, they, they were just here in my apartment. I had to face them. Father, really. Richard, Richard, enough. It seems that my fairy stories came true. Sorry. Father, really, I, I don't know. I, I, I have changed so much. And I, I don't know what to do. Will you ever forgive me? And, and uh, what I will do to change as before. I don't know what to do. Richard, Richard. Listen to your mother. What did you say? I said, listen to your mother. She has something very important to tell you. You know, a few weeks after you left, your mother came to me. She was different. She was determined to speak to me. Her eyes were strong and powerful. And her words were sweet, clear, and firm. And she told me that she had had an experience a few weeks ago. She told me how she tried over and over to speak to me, to you. And no one wanted to listen to her. But the love she was feeling gave her the strength to speak to me and then to the whole village. Richard, listen to your mother. She has something very important to tell you. M mother, I mean, I don't know about that, but you know, t two days ago, I had, had a strange dream. An angel came and he, he said... An angel? Yeah, it was a dream. I mean. yeah. And he said, listen to your mother. Was that you? No, Richard. The mother you're talking about is not me, but your inner mother. She is the one who can give you satisfaction. She is the one who can help you achieve your needs. You went off to the good life you went out to the town to seek the good life. More money, nice clothes, the good life. But you didn't find it, did you? That's because you were looking for the wrong things in the wrong place. The mother within you can satisfy all those needs. You were enticed by the six enemies of the soul. You were seduced by the attraction of worldly pleasures. You were deceived by the illusion of material, the illusion of material achievements. You didn't listen to your mother. You tried to grasp outside what you can reap inside. Listen now to the melodious music of the praise of Sri Mataji Nimala Devi. divine feet gently curved like an arch to draw the line of aesthetic permeates the world with the velvet softness of innocence. 
they delicately stroke the earth, laying wisdom and balance on its surface. They are the magnet of love, connecting divinity to matter. Against anger, her godly smile irradiates the souls, penetrating our beings like multicolored rays of divine love and bathing our torn hearts in the mirror lake of her infinite peace. She replaces anger with silence, the silence which witnesses the reality of the present. Against greed, she magnifies generosity, erasing the attraction to matter. She directs our attention to the subject which expresses the projection of her sharing. Touched by her hand, this matter becomes auspiciousness and care. Against attachment, she withdraws the bondage of our artificial emotions and binds us to collective consciousness. You then feel the bliss of her divine energy, the all-pervading vibrations of Sakshat Adi Shakti. Against jealousy, she replaces its ugly mask with brotherhood and togetherness, building the new temple of friendship. She wipes out competition, removes envy, and restores the union of hearts under the bandan of her everlasting glory. Against pride, she enhances humility of the soul and calls for the discretion of the mind. Pride arrogance and ego subside, blazed by the shining glance of her incomparable eyes, transforming our extremes into a smooth surface of endless swinging flowers. These are the antidotes of the enemies of the soul, as described through the prism of the love of the Adi Shakti. But when it comes to mentioning the holy name of Sri Mataji, my words vanish, my expression stops, I enter into the realm of thoughtless awareness. How then to speak about the one who is beyond? How to sing of the one who is the cause of all causes? How to praise the source of creation, the desire of God? The real perception of her divine identity can be approached by the opening of your Sajrara, which will unite your mind and heart in a movement of adoration and blessing, with your surroundings dissolving into nothingness like a torrential rain of divine vibrations, you will prostrate yourself at her feet.
truth and love and graces were lost. For the mighty hand seized the bars, the condensed thoughts, to forge them into the sword of war, into the bow and arrow, into the thundering cannon and the murdering gun. I saw the beauty of eternity looked upon as a deformity and loveliness as a dry tree. I saw disease forming a body of death around the Lamb of God, threatening to destroy Jerusalem and devour the body of Albion. them up into my furnaces to form the spiritual sword that lays open the hidden heart.
And behold, the goddess gave England a sword. And that sword was the sword of righteousness. And its name was Excalibur. The Adi Guru himself, the Lord of Righteousness, took his birth as Merlin, the magician and wise man. And he was the keeper and the guardian of the sword. And it was said that whoever could draw this sword from the rock, he would become the king of all the Britons and bring order to that land. So they 
enshrined. Strong knights and clear knights to the right side and the left, but no one could pull the sword. And slowly, weeds grew around the sword. Excalibur became a myth. And then England found a new way to choose its king. Sharpen, Sir Kay. Well, don't just stand it looking stupid. Go and get it. Coming, Sir Kay. Coming right away. Ah, what's she doing? So watch it. Go and get my sword. It's coming right away, sir. It's coming, sir. I just look for it for a while. Anyone seen a sword? Oh, that's no good. I can't use that thing. It's a sword, sir. That's not my sword. Where's my sword? And whose is this? No, I didn't. I didn't. Where did you find it, boy? In the stone on the hill. Was it down what hill? Let me through. Who are you? I am Merlin. And that is no ordinary sword. That is Excalibur. But don't you see, it's the sword of the goddess, drawn from the stone by our future king. Then, I'm the king. I'm the king! 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 Yeah, the boy did it. Did you pull that sword from that stone? Yes! Oh, oh no, you didn't! Give me the sword. No! <laughs> Give me the sword. No! Give me the sword. No! <laughs> 
show us. Where did you really get that sword? It's from him. The boy. Ah, oh, the boy. The boy. Come on. Come on. Pull out the sword. I've been searching for a thousand years. Just a pilgrim on his way And I don't know where I use my eyes I use my ears There's no progress to be made No progress to be made Excalibur, are you just a sword in a stone? Or are you really something more? A symbol or a story? Excalibur, Excalibur, a mighty sword of blessing A legend for our children sent to take us from a wilderness Now I must use my witness state to draw you from this rock of ages I've been looking for a life of me Excalibur, learn to tell my wrong from right and I try to use my wisdom I use discrimination There's no progress to be made No progress to be made Excalibur, Excalibur Are you just a strange illusion? Just a pilgrim on his way you from nowhere Just to add to our confusion Searching for a thousand Will years you the human race All lost in many nations and lead us to a better place, a land of sweet vibrations. Now I must use my witness power. This could be our finest hour. There's no progress, just a pilgrim. Excalibur, Excalibur, are you just a sword in a soul? Or are you really something for a legend no or a Searching for a thousand Can years. You use use my wisdom, use the spirit. of yours it's Arthur he's just a boy no 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 this this boy is our king long live the king long live the king long live the king
Arthur! <laughs> Arthur! Where is that boy? Where is Arthur? Arthur, new king of England! What is the matter, boy? Uh, your Majesty. Nothing. Is this the face of a king? I'm not a king. Everyone knows I look after the horses. Arthur, you are the one who threw the sword from the stone. You and no one else. The goddess chose you. Do not doubt yourself. The king is within you. All you have to do is find him. <laughs> will you help me, Merlin? Well, of course, of course. That's what I'm here for. I will help you now, but the time will come when you will have to help yourself. I don't think I could ever do it on my own. Well, of course not. That's why you need a Shakti. A what? One of these. Who are you? I'm Guinevere. She will be your queen and your power. She will give you balance, like the two wheels of a chariot. The goddess wills it. Take her off her and love her as your wife. Accept me as your husband. Whatever God wills, I will obey with all my heart. Then I will love you and protect you with all the strength that God may give. So, after centuries of waiting, England had its king and its queen. This is all some trickery of yours. 
You all know I am the highest born here. Now look, Sir Gawain... By no. birthright, this crown should be mine! Now look, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is the last time... Oh, oh, no. not accept me as king. You are no king. You're not even a knight. Please, make me a knight. By the goddess, by St. Michael, and by St. George, I proclaim King Arthur, Knight of Albion, Defender of Righteousness and Truth. To you, my Lord, I pledge my allegiance. I pledge my sword and my love. Long live the king! Long live the king! Thanks be to the goddess. From this day forth, we shall unite the people under a single crown. This stone shall be the foundation of a new kingdom, and upon it we shall build the sacred temple of Camelot, that virtue, truth, and true brotherhood may blossom and yield everlasting fruit. But every knight of St. Michael and St. George and all the emanations of the goddess act as guardians. 